I think it's safe to say I've made a paper football or two, and now I'm gonna show you how. The obvious first step, find a piece of paper. This is just a normal eight and a half by 11. I cut it in half hamburger style. I mean, I used a cool transition, but you'll need scissors. See, now you can make two paper footballs, but first we've gotta make one out of this half. I guess this would technically be step three. Find one of the long edges and fold it over, but don't make it even with the other side. I'll show this better here in a second, but first I'm gonna make sure this first crease is extra crispy. It's it's been my experience that the stronger the crease, the stronger the paper football in the end. Okay, see how I did not fold the edge all the way over to the other one? I left about an inch of space between the two. It doesn't have to be exact, but as you can see, I folded that one inch flap over the other edge. Now's the time to pick one of the corners at the top. To me, it doesn't really matter which one. You fold that corner down to make a triangle, and then you start folding the triangles over the top of each other. And you can see here, as I'm going, I'm trying to make sure that the creases are very crisp. Now I'll admit this isn't the the prettiest paper football I've ever made, but hey, I've got a camera in between my arms. I don't know what else I expected. As I approach these final folds, I want to remind you that if you make a paper football, have fun, be smart, and be respectful of others. All right, I've got all my triangles folded down. You should be left with something like this. Ideally, you'll have like an inch, inch and a half of paper left over at the bottom. Okay, this part's a little tricky, so it's okay if you need to ask for help here. Find the long edge of your paper football and then the corresponding corner. Fold this corner down just like you did with the triangle triangles before. As you can see, this should make a mini triangle. At this stage in the process, it kind of looks like a mini house. Okay, that was all set up for this, the tricky part I mentioned earlier. Gently squeeze and then use your thumb to pop open the paper football. Now take the leftover tab and fold it back up inside. Just keep working at it until you can get that tab to lay flat. One more step after this, but there you go. That's how you make a paper football. Not too bad. My points could be a little bit better, but that's what practice is for. Speaking of practice, like I said, there's only one thing left to do. You gotta test it out. You're about to see me flick this paper football for the very first time. And hey, if you enjoyed this little tutorial, now's a great time to tackle that subscribe button if you haven't already. That's how it's done.